technology and the electronic medical records are essentially making the physician turn towards the technology, turn away from the patient. Essentially, from a vision point of view, we're attempting to turn the chair back to the patient. Advances in deep learning and AI uh, fall into the bucket of uh, cognitive computing, and they show really great promise for the way we build and interact with enterprise software, and particularly clinical information systems. This new area of cognitive uh, computing spans a number of core technologies, uh, importantly machine learning and particularly deep neural networks. I see the technology being our co-pilot, and in a world now where Flying the airplane is way too complex for any one human being to, to manage on their own. The computer should be my co-pilot to keep me alert, keep me appraised of the situation, warn me when there's things that, that are dangerous coming down the pike, and then executing on orders uh, when that needs to happen. So the idea is basically the amplification of human intelligence. We're really energized by this description because what we're doing with these solutions is essentially taking what people already know, like a radiologist or, or a physician, and digitizing it in such a way that it is available on demand in any workflow. Because at just the right time, the technology should serve up information, prompts, reminders, in a way that's non-intrusive, that doesn't interrupt the workflow, but really engages the physician to be the best at what he or she does. As speech got more and more accurate, we did more and more things with it that were kind of unbelievable in the very beginning. When it was 75% accurate, we couldn't even imagine doing the things that we're doing today. Now we're up 95, 99. The same thing is actually happening with natural language processing. We've got products like Dragon Medical Advisor, computer-aided physician documentation, computer-aided CDI. These products are already processing very complicated cases. We're extracting facts and evidence from those cases. We're providing physicians with real-time feedback today at the point of care. And in terms of population health management, bringing all the data together in the electronic system helps us to manage entire populations of patients with diabetes, with heart disease, with cardiovascular issues. And so in those ways, the EHR is enormously helpful. What our technology does for the physician, whether it's through speech or the understanding technology or intelligence, is it helps the physician turn the chair back around. 